the system. All right, what, what I'm going to involve you with right now is just the um, mounting from this pump and that panel there sits right on top of your CPU and uh, keeps it cool. That's what a cooling system does. Yeah. But there's components in the box that I didn't recognise or didn't know. And what I did was I, um, I, I, I played about five, maybe six um, YouTube videos on this cooling system and saw numerous people install them. So even so, I opened up the box and the components and bits everywhere. And okay, here we go. The basic thing you need on this motherboard, which is an Intel motherboard and a Intel CPU, it's actually an ASUS motherboard. Um, it will take uh, AMD chips and it will also take um, hit a bottle, it fell off, it smashed on the ground. So now I'm going to get glass all through my feet. This ball, my baby dog, why don't you come up and talk to the people? Come up and talk to the people. Come on. Come on. He only has eyes for one thing. What happens, this is the back plate for Intel. Uh, goes behind on the back of the motherboard. Um, it's square. It can go any way. Everything's equal. You've got these rubber grommets that sit. They have to line up with the holes that are already drilled on the motherboard. And uh, it sits there and the pump here screws down onto those. This is a cage for the pump. Um, um, I'm pointing the wrong direction but it goes over like that and screws down. This goes behind the motherboard, pulls it in tight. Uh, that's that. This one is a square contraption with only two arms off the side of it. This one is for AMD um, so it's not appropriate or useful for this build because I'm using Intel. So that goes away on the funny pile. The other thing I do, bag of screws, you can look at the screws and think oh what so what I do is I get a bowl, tip them all into the bowl, and because we've got fittings here for AMD as well as Intel, um, I just isolate the parts that are not um, useful to me, they're not part of this build, so I'll just go through that quickly. I've got these very long screws, black, four of those. I know what they're for, and therefore going through the fan into the radiator to hold the cooling system in place. Done. I've got these, um, I'll put one down here, I hope I've got the right angle. Um, thumb screws. Two, four of those. Three, four. Okay, they're all keepers. They screw from the top of the motherboard down to keep the four corners in place and what they screw into is two types and this is where it's going to become tricky because I'm not going to zoom in but there's one one spacer one riser has got a fat thread on it a small short fat thread and the other one is a long thread. Now I know the long threads will take these screws, but where the fat thread is supposed to go into the base plate, 
are way, way, way too big. And uh, where'd my AMD one go? Here it is. This is the AMD one with two things. And they screw in. Sort of. They're not even straight. Anyhow, I know that those particular ones with the fat thread on them are of no use to me. So there's one, two, Three, here we go, four. There's four of those, um, not appropriate for Intel, um, so they'll be going out. And then all that's left are the correct spaces, risers, for an Intel board and a, um, or, I, don't, I don't even know if it's an Intel board, it, it's just a Intel CPU installation, I guess, and uh, as you see, they've got exactly the same thread on both sides, and one goes into your backup, back, back thing, that works perfectly. And then eventually when you put the other cage on, you get these thumb screws which go perfectly onto the top of them. So that's what you're going to end up with. Let's just have a little look, shall we? I don't want to go and dramatise things too much. Look, there's other things in here. There's some little keys or some little screws. That's AMD. I'm not against AMD. I intend to build an AMD system um, sometime down the track. Um, but it's not tried and proven for what I do. So, ooh, so that's, that can go away. There's three of those. There's four of everything. There's even four washers. Popping down here, that will go onto these long threads for when you're securing your fan and radiator. So that's the guy there. Now, all the bits I'm going to need are going back in here. It's a bit of quite a bit less than what I started with. All of these bits, for now, you can go back in the bag they came in. Okay, seal him up. Done. Keeping them. Now what I'm going to do is I thought long and hard about this. You can either do this from within the case or you can do it on the motherboard as you go. Um, I'm going to mount the back plate onto the motherboard here. So you take this, it's a nice uh, little alloy, um, strong piece of equipment. Along the legs here or the arms, four of those, there's actually a plastic film over the top of that for, um, I guess, anti-static and conductivity, that sort of thing. You don't want it touching any components. Um, this here, the grey, brown, around there, is some sort of thermal insulation or whatever. I'll just go here. I think you can still see me. I'm just going to flip him up on the back. You can see right here is the CPU 
graphic card, central processing unit, and around that is four, one, two, three, four holes. And let me just get my balance. Handling it by the edges, um, you don't put your fingers over any of this stuff. It's um, it depends on the person. You have acidity in your in your fingers, and um, sometimes it can eat in and corrode components. Not everybody's as acidic as the next person. Some people are not at all. I actually know that I'm low acid because I play guitar, and my guitar strings never need changing um, because they just don't corrode. They don't don't get crappy. But if somebody with high acidity comes in and touches my guitar, fuck you. Not a good thing. So I'll just try popping these in. Okay. Now we're all out of whack. Let's just put him down. This part has got adjustable grommets on the end so they can come in smaller and I'm going to go all the way in on each one of them because I was way off way out of line mate okay let's pop him up again and see how we go I've got them all the way in. And what do you know? It's perfect. Okay, now that'll just sit there. But what I'm going to do, take him off, and spin the motherboard over. Take out the four risers that I know I'm going to need. Just look up the model of the component that I'm installing here and go to YouTube and put it in there. Heaps of videos, heaps of guys doing this. So I, I almost feel like I half know what I'm doing even before I go into it, but um, yeah, we're going this way. direction. All you need to do is get one screw in and it'll sit there. That's right YouTube, I did actually get one screw in. In fact I got four. One, two, three, four. And they are the spacers or the risers that your pump is going to sit on. Now just finger tight, no use um, getting too excited, you know, don't take to it with pliers or anything like that, they are hex, but don't, don't be stupid, okay, just be careful. Um, so that's everything I need done in order to mount the motherboard in the case, so let's get the case up here and I'll um, adjust the camera angle okay let's go that should be okay you're not going to get much of my ugly face but Maybe now you will. Alright, let's go with that. Okay, I'm back. We just had a lovely shower of rain. And uh, I did predict a storm, but that didn't happen. But the rain did. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful out here in the west. Uh, we love it. We need it. Um, this is the case. Um, 
control panel up the top here two fans although there's only one installed at the moment at the top but I'll put another one in the bottom they can be 140 mil fans that would typically be your intake with air cold air going inside the computer it also um, blows the bottom fan will blow across your hard drives if you need it a um, couple of bays for things cables I've just checked these they're already installed the spaces um, risers same thing and uh, the motherboard's ready to go in there now across the top of the case I hope you can see this are two bays for 120 mil fans and they will be exhaust fans bringing hot air out the top of the case as you know hot air rises so it's always going to go in this direction and because up the top here is your central processing unit, the CPU, then uh, you don't want too much hot air build up in the top of your case. So two nice vents to get rid of that shit, that's good. Um, this will be the intake for my cooling system for the CPU. Uh, the one I was just fiddling with there. You'll see that all come together. All of these slots, uh, expansion card slots are all vented nice big holes in them to get hot air out and coming around this side of the machine nice big open space your computer your CPU is right there in the middle of it so you can get I guess it's just a thermal thing really isn't it you, you just want to keep that cool and if it's touching up against hard metal and you, you're going to get a build up of um, heat and you don't want that so why don't we just get straight to it um, I think from the last video I recorded for about 20 minutes and uh, after the battery ran out so what I'll do is spin him around to the angle that we're going to work from adjust my camera angle I'm still here I haven't gone away you just you can only handle so much ugliness in your day and you don't want to be looking at me all the time believe me let's have a look like that that is exactly where the motherboard is going to go the motherboard is over there sitting there waiting so he's going to go right in here so this is all going to have to be talk no pictures of me basically grab my motherboard I'm grabbing my motherboard here it comes straight into the case screw holes, the risers, everything to do with everything. That there, that there. Hmm. It's slightly out of line. not happy with that you know they call it an ATX form factor you'd expect it to be the same I might have to go back to my notes but basically all along this edge the screw holes are 10 mil away from the um, existing so let's just take him out have a look at him careful there's only one position they could go alright these these risers are 
way away from where they should be. Well, you know the um, the motherboard is up on YouTube, and this installation is up on YouTube. Let's take him out because there's something I forgot, which was the panel for the for the back of it. So let's find that. See, this is where housekeeping comes into it because I know it was in the motherboard box. And it's right there. So clean as you go. I'm glad you're discovering this with me because not everything is always as it seems. Why would that be so wrong? It basically means from this point here over to the far edge of the motherboard is unsupported. Um, I'm not getting cranky. I'm just finding out things that um, don't always go the way you expect them to. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You're going to have a whole row of risers right here that are not used, I think. I'll have a look. Yeah, this is the panel for the back of the motherboard. Um, goes that way. They're the audio connectors, graphics. RJ45, uh, PS2, RJ45. So we'll put that in. I don't know if you can even see this. I'm getting a bit depressed. Okay, what we're going to do Oh boy, licking me with your tongue. My girlfriend doesn't like that because she says he licks his bum. <laughs> but it's all sweet because he swallows before he licks my face, don't you boy? Get him. I'm going to switch the camera off for a little while. I've, I've just wasted about 40 minutes of um, vision that is going to be of no use to you. And it's, it's, I'm going to mount the motherboard and, and that panel and uh, think about what I'm going to do next. Um, it's all a case of bush mechanics. Um, you make it fit and you make it work and I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that leading edge because that's a place where you do plug um, components in and you sort of have to have a bit of support under that. I might have a look at it and think about some foam or whatever. But anyhow, um, I don't need the pressure of the camera on at the moment because this is pretty critical. And uh, I'll get that motherboard in, um, bolt him down, and uh, we'll go ahead with installing that cooling system. Okay, so it's all goodbye from me. I think I'll just shut this video down. Um, Kero here. Uh, my name is Captain Zero, and uh, my real name is Kero. And uh, we'll um, the Eastern Downs, Queensland, Australia. Uh, lovely rainy day, had 10 millimetres overnight, beautiful. Um, so I'll talk to you on the next video. Thank you for your time, appreciate your company, I really do. And um, we'll, uh, we'll get into it, we'll get it done, we'll make it work, huh? Thank you, bye.